I'm Beth Futter and I've done the PGC Modern Foreign Languages, especially French. I did a bit of Spanish as well. But... And I'm Peter Kay and I also did MFL, French, German, Spanish. So I lived, um, I'm, my, my dad lives in, near Lincoln and I was looking for places in the vicinity but I didn't limit myself to just looking at Lincoln places. I was also looking at different parts of the country but when I came for the open day I got a bit of a taste of it and it seemed really nice and friendly and quite small, like a really lovely size and obviously it's located in a beautiful area of the country and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I like. was similar as well. Yeah. I thought when I came here for an open day, I thought I loved the size of the place. It's, it's big enough that you've got facilities on campus, but it's not too big mm. that it's a bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, and for me as well, I sort of I looked at other universities, but BGU was the nearest one for me, but also just, um, yeah, manageable size. And I think I want definitely wanted a PGC that has got, got an academic element to it, That's rather true. than doing a schools direct a skit or anything else, yeah. where it was totally school-based. I felt it was a really nice mix of university and school places. Yeah, when talking to the educators on the open day as well, they just seemed very happy to talk to us and answered yeah. all the questions. They seemed very knowledgeable as yeah. what I got from it. So, yeah, that would be my main point. Yeah. Favourite part of the course? It's hard to actually limit yourself to one mm -hmm. favourite part. I really enjoyed the beginning where we were, um, the, you're in your subject um, groups with your subject mentor, but you're also, you make friends outside of your subject area as well because you're with a lot, you're with everybody else on the PGC secondary course. So that first three to four weeks when you're at uni every day is amazing, it's fun, there's a lot to learn, but it's, yeah, it's really fun. And then you go into the big wide world of your placements and that opens a whole new thing, mm -hmm. doesn't it? So actually teaching for the first time in front of um, students, probably the first placement is um, maybe the most difficult one because it's like you're stood in front of the class for the first time. So that is exciting in itself. So it would definitely be a mixture of placement and being here. Well, yeah, I liked how gradual it was. So obviously you start off having, uh, was it two weeks of uni sessions? Yeah. And obviously you get to meet everybody and it's like a nice size group that you don't feel too, you know, yeah. lonely or you feel like people are going to accept you. Really, really nice people. Um, and then just the subject sessions are always really interesting and interactive. And um, then we had then Mondays, our Monday of our week of placement was also coming into uni and that was nice because it was yeah. like a breather from everything and it wasn't a full week and it was just an extended weekend where we could also get together. You could catch together, up with your friends, you could exchange sort of, yeah, to have you got on a through. placement and things. It yeah. was, yeah, That's it good. was good, yeah. Yeah, really good. I never felt like I was being ignored. I never felt undermined. Um, having um, special needs as well, I did think I was a little bit, um, you know, always oh, this going to be for me? Am I going to receive the support that I need? But I've never had a problem. Like, very really quick responses back from everything. No question was ever a silly question. It was always elicited by a good response and they showed me where to go and then do further research. It wasn't just one answer. We were also, it opened then a can of worms as to different information we could access yeah. yeah so our subject mentor Jean has always been really helpful supportive from, from the get-go and I think all the other subject mentors are the same as well really supportive um, from my point of view it was probably being one of the oldest students in town um, being in my 50s and having a career change coming out of business and going into education it was really nice when I joined BGU that I wasn't the only student trainee teacher in their 40s or 50s as a small group of us but actually what's the nicest thing to say to answer the question is is that I didn't need any extra support because we're treated just like a 22 23 year old graduate who's just straight away going into their PGCE so um, we didn't need any extra support for the older students because we just slotted in and fitted in with everybody else so that was really mm, nice but you are treated like adults and you're yeah. respected oh, yeah, very much respected maybe different from what you would get as a first uni yeah experience. that's true you just always you did feel really respected yeah. everybody's in like in their own lane and very diverse but yeah. also yeah. But a real nice mix of ages, yeah. ethnic backgrounds, yeah. nationalities, and yeah. Yeah, really, gender. Really yeah. good, yeah. So I managed to get myself um, a job at Louth Academy in Lincolnshire. 
and I'll be teaching languages, French and Spanish, and introducing German into the curriculum there as well. So I'm really excited about that. And I think one tip I might give um, to future students would be to maybe try getting a job as early as you can. Because I started in December and got my secured my job in December, so it really took the pressure off me and the rest of the course. Um, some of my friends got their job offers literally last week or the week before. Um, so that's towards really towards the end of the course when there's a load of pressure on you and stuff. So yeah, I'm glad I did what I did. But um, yeah, that yeah. worked for you, didn't it? Yeah. yeah, I'm also starting a job um, as a language teacher in Lincoln. So same again, it started in September. So yeah, looking forward to that. And honestly, it was really easy for us to find yeah. jobs, wasn't it? Yeah. Being language teachers and there not being many around there, yeah. um, people were very excited and very um, you know helpful to yeah. get us the jobs that we needed, uh, which felt really nice because obviously you don't ever want to be um, feeling no. pressured and, and whatnot. So yeah, it sort of it yeah. went, it's gone smoothly. And there's loads of um, career support here at BGU yeah. as well. There's a really, yeah. really strong career so you don't team. have to limit yourself to no, starting a job straight away. No, Aggie, whatever. she comes in and out of our lectures. She's always available. She's always there to help us, isn't she? So, and you know, even recently, the last two weeks of the course, we've been getting regular emails about, has anybody not got a job yet? So you're really totally yeah. supported with that. So yeah, it's really sure. good, yeah. I think for me it would be, um, it's a good time to come into education, we need te more teachers in the country, there's a huge um, shortage of teachers clearly. I would say whatever age you are, um, we've got on really well, mm -hmm. there's only been two of us on our course, we're different ages, but we've got on really well and I think that it's a really nice sized university, you, nobody feels out of their depth here. The advice that I would give is to think clearly that you definitely do want to come into education though because I think it's not a course that you can just drift into because you can't think of anything else to do. It is quite a tough course. Um, we've we've like shown the highlights of it and the positivity of it, but it is hard, it's tough and it takes a lot of time and dedication. Uh, and it can be gruelling at times as well. So I really think it's not a course that you um, you just choose because you can't think of anything else to do. You opt for this because you want to be a teacher and you go through the difficulties that the course might entail to get to your final goal. We're also learning a lot about, I wouldn't have ever thought about all these different things that we've learned in, sub, in the, either subject sessions or collective session yeah. sessions. But it's also, you know, thinking about psychology and thinking about um, social behaviours, yeah. it's a lot, you know, it's not just teaching your subject no. session, it's a, you're being, you know, a social um, worker as yeah. well at the same time, so you're learning a lot about yourself as well, we learn which about is really interesting. Students with dyspraxia and special um, needs. autism and yeah, ADHD, premium, yeah. everything really, so, so we're being really equipped, aren't we, very, to deal it with It covers students. everything, you don't, it doesn't limit itself to just um, bog standard this no, one size fits all that's type of right. thing. You very, learn a lot. There's yeah, a lot of very life skills educational. and life lessons. And I that we feel can like learn. I've grown a lot as a person and a lot as a person matured from it as yeah, well. Yeah, me too. Across. Yeah. Me too.